Hey guys, what's up? This is Dave from Common RDW here, and today on the eShop Stop, we're talking about Old Man's Journey. The Nintendo Switch and mobile game ports go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly, or cake and ice cream, or old people and teal drinking stories that make, that make me feel, oh my god. <clears throat> Anyways, Old Man's Journey from indie game company Broken Rules is a puzzle driven story game where you play the spry old man, of course, on a journey across land, air, and sea to reach his destination after he gets a letter delivered to his seaside home. Now this game was a little hard to talk too long about without spoiling anything, so I'm gonna try to make this brief. The gameplay hook of Old Man's Journey is that you don't actually control this elderly adventurer directly. You either use touch controls and play this game like it's mobile iterations, or you use the Joy-Con like a pointer, like a Wii Remote, which is pretty much how I play it. Then, in order to help him navigate the terrain, you actually hold and drag to adjust the sizes of mountains and hills, thus making a path that the old man can walk along. The way that the devs use layers in such a creative way is really cool. It's almost like you're playing with the illustrations in a children's book with how beautiful the painted backgrounds blend so well together. The game is very well paced in how it introduces new gameplay elements in each of the major areas of the journey to you as well. Like how you have to use waterfalls to move down the landscape or move multiple herds of sheep through grassy plains in order to clear a path. I only ever had one instance where I actually had to reset a checkpoint during my time of play and it was during a sheep puzzle, but other than that, everything else was fine. Also, going back to the game's length, that's probably the only major factor that would hold me back from seriously recommending this game to someone outright, because the game is 10 US dollars but I literally finished it in an hour and a half. So you could literally experience all Old Man's Journey has to offer in the span of half an afternoon. But that being said, there really is a sweet and heartfelt story being told here that I actually would recommend people check out for themselves. If 10 bucks on the eShop seems too steep, then check out Old Man's Journey another way, like on mobile for half price. Or toss the game into your wish list and pick it up on the eShop if it goes on sale. Well that's it for this episode of the eShop Stop, thank you so much for watching guys. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video, and also comment down below if you plan on picking up Old Man's Journey for yourself, or you want to talk about it if you have it. And also subscribe to Comment on DW for future episodes of the eShop Stop. And also ring that bell so you can get notifications when new episodes of the eShop Stop go live.